there are three specific ways you can really simplify your user outreach in the build phase. One of those is to pick your main user acquisition channel. In other words, where are you going to be reaching out to people in order to build up this waiting list? Maybe for you, that means going on to social media platforms, maybe something like Facebook groups, or maybe for you, that means going to direct businesses. So going door to door, right? So whatever it is for you, pick one that you can put all of your effort in, in the beginning. The second thing is to pick three or more businesses, groups, people, whatever it may be to reach out to every single day in the second half of your pilot app development. Ideally, we want this to take around three months. So the second half is going to be around six weeks. So I want you to find three people, groups, businesses, again, whatever that is for you. And I want you to put those three into a calendar for six weeks straight or at the very minimum, at least for a month. And the third really simple thing to do is just start the outreach every single day and make it a habit during that time. That might sound like a lot, it might not, but here are a few extra tips to make it a little bit more palatable. Whatever type of outreach you are doing, whether you are posting in Facebook groups or having literal conversations, maybe you're sending emails, the first thing is just to really just act like a human, okay? Talk to people as if they're people. You really don't need to be salesy or pushy or promotional about your app itself. You really need to be just adding value to conversations, adding perspectives, asking people about the problems they're experiencing and the consequences of those problems, what they've tried to solve them, how they could potentially solve them with the idea that you have or the product that you're building. Would they be helped by something like this, right? You can have human to human conversations and that can build your waiting list in these early days. The next thing to remember is that consistency is key. I see a lot of people giving up after they have put up a few posts or maybe sent a handful of emails and not gotten responses but consistency is key. That's why we have a little bit of outreach every single day over an extended period of time because you're not gonna hear back from a lot of people. Some of the posts you put up are not gonna get any traction. That's just the reality and that's okay. What's not okay is for you to just say, oh, well, it must not work. And then to kind of give up on the outreach and just go back to building your app, which is the easier thing to do, right? Consistency is key. And a really important thing to remember is the type of outreach that you're doing in the earlier stages with your app is going to be unscalable. Okay, so if you are trying to automate your outreach so that you can blast tons of people at the same time and you can just kind of sit back and again go back to just building your app, that's not going to work. In these earlier stages, you have to be manually having conversations with people because unless you do that, you're not going to understand what types of conversations actually compel people to join your waiting list. And so you can't automate and scale something that you have not validated yet, or at least you shouldn't put the time and effort into doing that because it's wasted time and effort. Have these conversations, take the time that it takes. Again, it's just a little bit every single day with consistency, and you are going to see tremendous results on the other side.